first look at what is it that teachers bring to the classroom. They can bring conceptual knowledge, and they do bring conceptual knowledge. Sometimes they bring conceptual understanding, and other times not. I, one of the teachers was in a, uh, teaching um, math at high school, and she was going to do a unit on quadratic equations. And so I asked her, what's the concept behind quadratic equations? And she gave the formula. And I said, well, no, but what's the concept behind it? And we teachers tend to be so immersed in their own content that it's very difficult for them to step outside of that content and try to understand what system of concepts their students have. So what I argue for is first we need to look at whatever the concept is. That concept belongs in a system. It has superordinate and it has subordinate concepts. And for the teacher, first of all, to think about this conceptual system. Because what we're looking at in academic concepts is the way that concepts from a human understanding come into the classroom. Then having looked at that concept, to look at where students are in the development of that concept. To go to their lives, to try to see how, what their sense is what their meaning is of that concept. And then with those two things, then to look and see where's the, the meeting ground? Where's the zone of proximal development? And so this idea of education really aiming for conceptual understanding is huge. Because you can have knowledge without understanding. But you can't have understanding without knowledge. 